And welcome back to the 15th anniversary long run where we're playing Tomb of Two, the Evil Swine Return. And, um, so here's the thing. Uh, I just found out today that BizHawk supports, uh, supports Retro Achievements. So I logged into Retro Achievements and expecting, like, yeah, start scoring some achievements for Tomb of Two. I realized during the break that you need to specifically configure it to start automatically. And I had not done that. So I had logged into Retro Achievements, closed BizHawk, opened BizHawk again, and it wasn't logged in. So I was like, go to the menu, and it just says, start Retro Achievements. It's like, okay, I guess it didn't log me in automatically. Click on it. And the game reset. Now, fortunately, I was able to load from my last save, and I had saved not too long ago. But my progress is going to be a little different. We did pick up that mud ball surprise on the way to the uh, to the trolley stop. I did try to find it again during break and could not find it. So we don't have it anymore. That should be the only change. I did go back and get the power coal at least. Anyway. As soon as the game feels like taking control, there we go. Now we get to deal with this mess. Shall we start the hoisting? Deliver it to that point over there. I think the cement takes one minute and 16 seconds to harden. Be careful. That's awfully specific. Quick, the trolley. Break with Three, square, two, one, cross, and go. okay. So basically, you want to keep the train on the tracks as much as possible so that it doesn't slow down. If you see sparks going, then, uh, You also want to make sure to not just fall off. If you see the sparks going, you're losing speed. Now, meantime, you see those, those uh, pickups around the place. You want to try to pick those up too. Uh, fortunately, you don't need to make the, the time... Ah, uh, jeez. You don't need to make the time and the pickups on the same one. But you do want to avoid using the brake unless you have to. Because otherwise... You're not going to make the minute and 16 time. So as you can tell, this is going to be really hard and annoying. I don't know who it is that, uh, that resubbed, but uh, thank you. I'll check that after this run. Or 
Or maybe you do have to get all five in the single one. But you don't have you don't have to do it on the same run as the uh, cement one, I think. Well, we made it to the end, but uh, not fast enough. Zero, thank you for the resub. The St. Asha safe. Okay, and we made it to the end of that run, so those those two seeds of strength that we got are they've they've stayed collected. So at least there's that. Ah, you but we need to make those basically tight turns. Practically at full speed. Ah. I mean, that's also a point. Like, they, I don't think they thought this through. So here is a secret, and I don't know that I don't know that it is really that secret. But in the original playthrough of this game, um, I basically cut out my attempts. Ah, friggin' hell! Like I did a couple of it because we had a ten-minute time, right? So I I cut out attempts after a few. Here's the secret. I never actually did the thing. I ended up cheating. I don't have that option this time because I have retro achievements enabled. And because I have Retro Achievements enabled on Hardcore mode, that means I'm not allowed to cheat. If I attempt to activate cheats, it is going to turn off Hardcore mode. It's about finding like the exact balance there because like you have to slow down a little bit but if you slow down too much that's it.
Aw, oh, man. You made it. No, I didn't. By 0 .06 seconds. Aw, oh, man. Kind of tap the brakes in that spin. But yeah, after after we've done the time trial. Then we can go back and get the rest of the seeds of strength. Aw, oh, man. You know, the funny thing is, for some reason, I've been kind of binging Defunct Land. And a lot of it is like, like uh, decommissioned rides, and a lot of Disney. Ah, you fail. This, this cart ride belongs in Defunct Land, is what I'm trying to say. Because fuck this. Just barely. I'm a little focused on the game, so I will I will get to chat in a bit here. Cause this segment sucks. So I don't get to the end often enough, so like, I forget what there is at the end. Okay, third leg. This part ain't so bad. And I got this. I'm gonna tap the brick a little bit. And we miss it by half a second. You made it. Three, two, one, go. 
I like how it's like enthusiastic. Oh, you made it! No, I didn't. I mean, I made it to the end, but what not like it matters. This friggin' magic cement that, uh... Appar apparently... Hardens at high speed only? There we go. You made it. Okay. <laughs> well, glad you could see me get to uh, to the proper end, Tyrion. I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Look at that! You did it on time. Somehow. That's great. Good work. That's 20,000 AP. Since you work so hard, I've got another bucket for you. You can pour in cold or hot water and carry it around. Alright. Now I'd like you to hoist some cement that hardens even faster. No! It's probably impossible without a faster trolley. Ah, if I only had a fast trolley made out of the light alloy that they used to mine here. Okay, well, regardless, can I... You... I... I will, uh... I will still get on the trolley here and uh, not worry about the time. I'm just gonna try to get the, um... The Seeds of Strength this time. And... As far as getting the Seeds of Strength, I just need to worry about getting to the end. I don't need to worry about beating a certain time. Oh. Ah, you Three, two, one, yeah, that is go. definitely a worry that I might need like a specific speed for the jumps. Okay, so I got number one. Number two. There isn't one in this section. Because number three was that jump. And number four is this jump. No, there aren't any more jumps. As you can see... Oh, really? As you can see, our time to beat there was about a minute ten. I know that the cement has already hardened. That wasn't my goal here. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, because the the last one you actually have to be leaning like far to the right. 
As y'all know, I really don't like leaning far to the right. Or to the right at all. Wow, I don't really know how I was supposed to do that, actually. Also, it really sucks that I have to do this entire, like, course every time. Just for another attempt at the last seed of strength. The problem is, like, this this track pretty much all looks the same. So I do the, the uh, corkscrew. And the cement is hardened, that's fine. And, like, it's there during this huge right turn. Like, what do I do? Not even pressing anything right now. You made it. Three, two, one, go. But I don't know what I need to start leaning is the thing. And then that happens if I lean too much. I'll try it again later. For now, I will just move on. Oof! I just can't do it with this trolley! Yeah, I wasn't worried about the cement at all, by the way. Go ahead and save. Now there is one thing that I did figure out while uh, I was trying to remember where the um, the mud ball surprise was. This is how you get to this AP box, and as it turns out, 
we have enough AP to open it. Look at this pig nose pin. What does it mean? I don't know. It's an adventurer's clue. And now we're dead. <laughs> I don't know why we start back from that sign. Was that that wasn't even the closest sign. Okay, we have the hand equipped, so. That was cool. And we got the bombs. What signed? Yeah, uh, oh geez. Oh, there is a mud ball, I guess. I'm gonna pretend like I was planning on doing exactly that. I'm not sure what you were thinking would happen. We're really gonna need those bombs. Well, as it turns out. Grant, stand back. We're gonna blast the boulder out of the way. Hit the switch with the hammer. Oh. He blasted the rock. Are you okay, Grant? Woo! That was close. I thought it was over for me. Thank you. Anytime. Do you happen to see Tabby around lately? Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I saw her headed for the Kajara Ranch. The Kajara Ranch? That's right. It's only a trolley right away, but I tried to stop her because of the evil pig spell. An evil pig spell is there too? Hopefully, she isn't in any danger. What am I saying? She'll be fine. I hope so. The mountain itself is dangerous. But if you ride the trolley, it's fairly safe. Oh no, I forgot to fix the rails. Oh boy. Good job. Forgot to fix uh -oh, the rails, just Grant drops the them. Was that weird flying monkey fairy thing? It's Zippo. You don't remember Zippo? The the very identifiable sidekick to Tumba that's definitely always been there. I mean, if you don't remember Zippo, I don't know what to tell you. Other than you're absolutely right to not know who Zippo is. I, I assure you, this is not you being dumb. Th this is this this is this game is voice acted, but Tumba canonically can't speak, so someone has to speak for him.
I, I guess nobody thought, like, let's make him do sign language. I mean, that's what I'm proposing. Kimba's able to communicate because he knows sign language, and so does everyone else. Oh, this is the mud ball surprise that I was missing, so I wasn't actually supposed to be able to get up here the first time. I just kind of, like, timed it just right and got up here anyway. Oh, that's death down there. Oh boy. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember which way the town is. Is it this way? Nope, that's death. That's not it either. Come to think of it, there's this flower. Now we have water, but is it is it the hot water going to work? Or are we specifically going to need cold water? Oh, okay. I don't think we're going to be able to give hot water to the guy who requires water, though. I think he's going to want some cold water from the fishing town. need to bring the track the, the trolley rail track piece thing back to you. Grant, you dropped this on your way back over here. Yeah, doofus. There it is. I was looking all over for it. Now I can finally do the repairs. Man, they're just giving away AP in this game. All fixed up. Tabby should be back any minute now. Listen to that. Right on time. Hey, wait a minute. What's wrong? Tabby isn't here. This doesn't look too good. Uh, zero? Don't worry about it. More people flailing their arms, and there's our first pig bag, by the way. Control yourself. Tell me what happened. P -p -p pigs to Tabby! They tried to steal her pendant. She wouldn't give it up. She fought them for a stupid necklace? Stupid necklace was a gift from Toma long ago. She treasured it. Hey, 
Oh, I guess we're not getting that pig bag yet. For a second there, I thought it was going to be something else, but no, we are in fact getting a pig bag right now. Legend has it, where a spell is cast, you can find a pig bag. And if you have a pig bag, it reveals their hiding place. If we ride the trolley, will we be able to get to the Kajara Ranch? You're not going, are you? You kind of have to. Well, at least take this to help you on your journey. It may be our only hope. Right. Let's see. Something that I wanted to check as well since we have the hammer now. Although we can't use the hammer in town, so I'm gonna guess that, uh... Hey, did you know? Rare life forms are hidden all over the place. There are people at the Kujara Ranch who like to collect such things. Okay. You can ride this trolley anytime you wish. There should be some people in town who know about these evil pigs. Talk to them before you go. I didn't want to see, like, since we have the hammer now. Is it worth going over here? You can ride the steam from the pipe. Uh, you're telling me the same thing. I can't interact with these, uh... These boulders. Oh, okay. You get the power core. Got it. So this is why we're here then. To give you the power core. I wasn't expecting that there was going to be additional dialogue, so I just kind of skipped through it. Alright. This should give me enough heat. The fuel that burns well. Uh, that's such a name. Now, fortunately, we only needed one piece of that stuff to make things go. Um, now I gotta figure out how to get to that. Uh, ladder to get to the underground area. The underground area of the underground area. Oh. You're just gonna tell Did me the same thing. I actually saw the barrel seesaw down in the town of a fisherman moving by itself. Oh my. Alright, well we got a mud ball, we got a mud ball surprise. So let's uh, give those a throw. Oh, we got clay. All right. I don't know how we got clay from a mud ball, but you know, let's uh, let's not think about it too hard. 
thing the, the game has taught us this up to this point. Now let's see what's in this thing. Low purity Hardonian. If I could boost the purity of the light of might in the Hardonian, the compounds would make a light alloy. With such an alloy, I could replace the underground trolley. It's getting pretty rickety. Those uh, names are a bit on the nose, aren't they? Anyway, um. I don't want to equip the bird clothes. Or the peg with the hammer. So this is the one that combines the things. I think. Not really, is it? Yeah, this is the one that combines the things. So it's... The thing is, like, I... I'm standing here in front of it, I cannot use this low purity hardonium. If I could boost Or maybe I have to first. Okay. So we have to smelt the low purity ores. Yeah, Hardonium and Lightamite. Alright, so we have smelted the Hardonium. Now let us smelt the Lightamite. And then he who smelt it dealt it to the combiner to make the light alloy. I think we got another light alloy before. Oh, no, we got the light of might, then we got the. Okay, yeah. Now we have the light alloy. There we go. How did you make that light alloy when you're not a miner? I know your secret. Hey, if it's alright with you, maybe you could give that light alloy to me. I'd like to fix the underground trolley. One we have is rickety. Doesn't move very fast anymore. It moves plenty fast enough for me. When it's ready, I'd like to take it down to the trolley stop. Make a really fast trolley. Okay. Huh. You say Just a minute different? ago, I saw a monkey in a pair of pants wandering crookedly down the street. Oh, good. Charles, what are you up to now? Aha! This is a hammer peg. I don't know why there's two of them, but uh, there you go. We still don't have the blue key though, so doing that doesn't really help as much. Anyway, someone saw Charles running around here. I don't know where he went. Also, I love how this is the tool shed and there's just people living here. Turns out the tools are these guys. Anyway, I got some clay. Wow, it's 
here. C-L-A-Y. Clay. This. This is it. This is what I wanted. All right. Just wait another minute. Got clay from the mud. I'm not a fan of how much AP we're getting for like everything. It's ready. I did it so fast, I even surprised myself. Thank you. You helped me to create my first work of art in a long time. In gratitude, I give this pot to you. I'm just satisfied that I can create a fine work of art. In fact, how much AP do we have right now? Okay, I'm not too worried. I guess we- I don't think we get AP for, um, for killing monsters in this game. <laughs> you did begging, now you get pop. Hey buddy. Sorry I broke your thing. Here's another thing. We made pot. I know. You guys know the courage song? Oh boy, is it time for sing along? But the but Do I need to remember that? I mean, y'all in chat cannot type this into... into the chat. I'd like to see you try. It's a song I learned a long time ago. Sounds sort of like an incantation. Still, to me it has kind of a half-baked feel. But it ought to help you guys on your trip. How? First spell half learned. Oh good, that's not even the whole thing. I don't I don't think that I'm expected to actually like make a note of exactly what that looked like. At least I'm hoping not. Told us this already. Hmm. I don't know if there's a whole lot else we can do around here for now, so let's move on to the next area. And immediately we we die of temperature shock. Hi, I haven't seen you around here before. This is the Kujara Ranch, or at least it used to be. It's just cold land now because of the evil pigs. So now I'm living in the Kujara Shed at the summit. You'll freeze if you just stand there. You're saying I'll freeze, but you're okay? <laughs> Look! These are flying squirrel clothes made from the fur of the Kujara on this ranch. It's really warm. Yeah, it's a real nice fursuit you have there. Oh, but this is my favorite, so I won't give it to you. Well, fine then. More importantly, Ima, how do you get to the summit? Hmm, do you guys know about the fire hammer? Fire hammer? Tomba has a regular hammer. A regular one won't do. Hmm, you can go ask Koma about the details. 
Wait a minute, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Go ask Koma about the de- Are we not dealing with the evil Koma pigs? Please, back up right now. Hang on. Whoa. Think y'all need to, to research what names you're using for things. She should be near the big piece of ice that you climb up ahead. And be careful, it's slippery on the snow. I don't know snow fi Am I going to have to collect some friggin' fireflies like I collected the butterflies in the first game? Please tell me I don't need like 50 of them. At least the respawn in this game doesn't seem to be anywhere like the respawn in the first game. Oh, there that one goes. Only need the hundred. Just another one. Ah. All right, can I do? Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. But yeah, something that I find that I found out in replays of the first Tuna game. Uh, the time, like, the best time to collect leaf butterflies, oh my goodness. The best time to collect leaf butterflies is the very first time you're in the Hundred Flower Forest. Because there are no enemies at all. So you just you just grind up your 25 leaf butterflies right then and there. Okay, we got 10. And no more are spawning, so I'm gonna guess that uh, 10 is what we need. Beware of the coca bird. We shall shortly invade its habitat with shouting and yelling. Okay. Will you give me your fursuit? Oh, um, I saw it! That chimney covered with snow! A chimney? go into it. Really, I saw it. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a red chest up here if we can make the jump. Is that jump makeable?
Oh, damn. You got a potato. Potato. I don't know that I can make that, actually. And then I wasn't looking and fell into the pit. God damn it. Oh, we made some progress, I guess. Okay, so some of these might have springs inside of them. That's probably the trick here. And I need to take this guy, and rather than throw him left, we throw him right, and that releases that, I guess. Also, they weren't kidding about if you don't move, you're gonna take damage. So I don't know what I just did. Why, why do you have to be creepy? Also, I guess I can just use uh, my hammer for this. How's this? A big sack. Bring the, bring the big sack. Bring the big sack where? spikes. Okay. Melt the giant eyes. I probably need the fire hammer for this. Hmm. Are you a traveler? Sorry, but you won't be able to climb any further. You can't melt such a big piece of ice unless you had a fire hammer, but no one's found it. I've heard, though, that a big freeze pig might be hiding inside. Okay. Those are the coca birds from the first game. Ah, no! Well, butts. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this sack. Oh, 
Okay, so we got that, I guess. Also, we don't need to worry about uh, getting that chest anymore. Hey, do you know whose bag this is? the details. Sheesh. And be. Yeah. Oh. Okay. A magic wing. And yeah, we're not going to be able to climb that probably without the, uh, the fursuit. I see. I found the chimney. Well, I'll be damned. It actually is Santa. Hmm. What am I going to do? What? Kid, that bag. I found it nearby. Oh, so hey, you didn't find it. I found well, it. Thank you. You really saved me. should be a big piece of ice you can test the hammer out on. Be careful though, a big freeze pig might be hiding inside. Or might not. Well, I should get going. Hope we can meet again. You have good eyes, little boy. Okay. He just flew away. I wonder who he is. Gee, I wonder. Can I push this? Sure can. Oh good, I found the Traveler's Diary. Now we can go talk to that Creepazoid again. And what is even the point of this fire hammer? Yeah, your stupid box, your stupid book. <laughs> Please don't turn around and and let me find you doing something that is going to get me bent from Twitch. Ah, my, my journal. All right, center a card gauge. So sure you wouldn't find it. You haven't read it, and you haven't read inside, have you? I would really rather not. I feel like I would become complicit to something. Then you shouldn't hide it. Oh well, a promise is a promise. Here, take this. Oh, it's the green key. It's a key for a treasure chest. That's right. It's a green key for opening green treasure chests. Well, I don't really care about it, so don't worry about it. In fact, there's a green treasure chest right over there. Why don't you go try and open it? <laughs> I'm uncertain about this prospect. Well, I'm cold, so I'm going to get going. What's in here? It's the fursuit. Ha! 
Oh, and it... Okay, this one works a little bit more like... Um... The Funky Parasol. Anyway. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hey. I dealt with the dude. Wow, this is some tool. It melted that huge ice pig in a flash. Now we can make it all the way to the lift shed. Now what about this hole? What what is the deal with this? I opened this up and now I want to know more. Okay, so that's how you fast travel to the bottom, I guess. Also, we can now climb this. We get 10,000 AP. Getting a lot of AP, actually. At some point, you will understand why I'm a little reticent about uh, getting too much AP. A green chest. Has magic water. Don't know what that is. How did I take damage? Look, Papa, the trees turned to stone. What happened here? Holy tree, Batman. Oh, what if I use my hot water on here? I can't use my magic water. I don't know what that does. Restores half of Tumba's magic pack. Wait, what? What magic power? Wait, what? Okay, so the hot water bucket cannot be used on the holy tree. Yeah. Okay. It, well, we're going somewhere. Well, that was fun. And the, uh, this suit is a little closer to the funky parasol, but it still has some weird physics to it. Potato! Ghost sticker? Okay, I don't know what that's about. Here's the lift shed. They're dead. Yeah, this lift is powered by the Kujara, but lately it hasn't had any energy. At this rate, the lift won't be able to run. If it's fed its favorite mountain peach that's found in the snow, it might feel better. 
Uh, as a matter of fact... So how are we doing so far? 35 and 51. Doing pretty good actually. Magic flower wants moisture. Well, I have the hot water. You want the hot water? You do. And he gives us a magic wing. All right, I guess you're the receptionist here, old man. Ho, ho, ho. Shall we meet again? Or maybe you're in the very empty hot springs? Kainan, what happened? What are you doing here? Well, retired traveler spas are great, but in this case, the hot water's all gone. Well, that's problematic. I wouldn't be surprised if it was possible to get crushed. So I might want to, like, make sure that doesn't happen. What's in here? It's the operations room. We're gonna have an operation. The operation will be completed successfully. Oh, you're a traveler. Just what I was looking for. You're probably really bored. Run off and go play. I mean, not really? Okay, let's play hide and seek. Are they supposed to be children or something? Because they don't sound like children. So we'll hide and you come look for us. Come find us. But, but I can't all of a sudden. A word of warning. No one has ever beaten us at hide and seek on this ranch. Yes, you will die. If you find us, we'll give you a firefly that's as bright as the snow. Okay? We're off to the lower ranch. Uh, I already have ten of them, it's fine. Th those kids! What's your deal? Oh. oh, some nasty little creature got me all covered with oil. But I've heard about some sort of food that can get this oil off. Oh wait, yeah, we've we've uh we've seen that. I'll come back to that one though. <laughs> A match can do the which job are you talking about, Zero? Careful, you are under oath. Possibly. Probably not. What's your deal? Hey, you've come to see my collection. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Sure. Of course, I've only got one of the little buggers. How much of a collection now is that? 
I'm collecting rare life forms. If you find anything, bring them to me. Uh, you got it, Sir David Attenborough. The job cracks knuckles. Ah, this is a rare item indeed. You're giving it to me? Why, thank you. Ho ho! I guess I had one. I probably don't have any more now. And we don't have any more rare or something. We just have these two small fish. A fresh fish. It probably isn't that fresh anymore, let's be real. I've caught the oily smear, and then I'm cured of the oily smear. What's your deal? I've caught a Kajara. That's probably leaving the area, and I probably don't want to do that with this Kajara on my head. Hey kids! Welcome! Hello! Um... Oh, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Fam. I own this ranch. I keep forgetting to introduce myself to new people. It's really a problem. Pleased to meet you. Bam! Is the gondola for going to the forest ready? Hmm, it is, but... What's wrong? Well, just come here. This seems like cruelty to animals, I'm gonna be real. Whoa, what is this? It's a machine to collect the Kujara's static electricity. Oh, is that why there's one just clinging to my head like it wasn't a thing? Static electricity? Is that the little shocks you get when things rub together in the winter? I mean, didn't that mean the winter? That's right, you're pretty smart. On the other side of that rock wall, I'm building a gondola that can go to the forest, but the rock wall is too hard and I can't break it in the normal way. I see. So you're going to cause an explosion using static electricity. That's not how it works. Wow. You're pretty smart, little fellow. That's exactly right. But in order for there to be an explosion, there has to be lots of static. That's where the Kujara comes in. When it's cold, her hair becomes long and has lots of static. Hmm, let me see. I think if I have three, that should be fine. Oh, well, we already have two. We need to look all over for pig bags for the evil pigs anyway. Why don't we help him, Tomba? Because this, this person does not seem like you should be handling animals. That's why not. I say again, cruelty to animals. Well, it's not like I really have a choice, is it? That letter can be raised with this crank. But someone's taken the hexagon gear. If you find it for me, I'll raise the ladder for you. Well, thank you for offering to raise the ladder. Goodness knows I do not have the wherewithal to raise one myself. I can flap as well, get a little more extra distance. Uh, 
Let's... Ow. I uh, didn't get a whole lot of extra distance. Yeah, I would, I would probably need... If this game has a grapple, I probably need that to get those chests right now. Pot of life half. Oh, there we go. Which conveniently goes right into that pit. And then we can collect an additional Kujara. We're taking you to a slaver, Kujara. Aren't you excited? Get the thing. Hello. In the forest just beyond this ranch is some strange fruit that makes you laugh or cry if you eat them. Thanks for the information, Droopy Dog. Hello, you happy people. to see his sculptures, and they truly are amazing. Ooh, look at the time. Break time's over. Got to get back to washing the Kujara. See you later. I mean, if you're going that way, can you just bring this one over as... I guess not. Never mind. Hi, I I brought you a big chunk of ice to work on if you want to. Oh, this ice sculpture. It's great. The last time clarity, everything's first class. It's so beautiful and angular. And that color, rumor has it, it's famous. The eternal ice. I mean like Ice Nine. Like in that other game. Since this ice sculpture is in my room, it belongs to me. Okay. Uh, sure. It's okay, isn't it, Tomba? Why not? Okay. I'm going to do it. The Supreme Ice Sculpture. <laughs> this might take a minute. <laughs> You know what? Let's let him have his fun and just quietly leave. Oh, this door is locked, I guess. Yeah. Try not to get burned. Well, that was not the correct place to go, and the Kujara just kind of fucked off somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
got itself frozen at exactly the same place. Good job. Let's get down the ladder. Thank you. And I'm dead. Let's get this Kajara a third time. find the correct door to bring it to, which is not this door. What about this one? Okay. I also found, I found your thing. Hey, you found it? Good, let's get this thing going. My ladder's all grown up now. Dear. All right. I want the gems, though. I'm dead. Bye. I have I have died of avarice. It finally happened. Uh, that's not the correct way. Guess I know it's locked. There is no, like, two tombas left of here. There is not anything. Itching salve. Out of my way. Didn't ask you. sure how to get that white chest. I mean, the fact of the matter remains, I don't have that key anyway, so I don't have to worry about it right now, but I will at some point. This red one, we have two magic wings. Oh, there's the last Kajara.
The Crying Door. Okay, before I do that, let's make sure that I have the Kajara in tow. There we go, and that's the last one. Of this group, anyway. I was hoping that I was going to be able to actually access that green chest, but apparently not. Okay, so if I have the oily smear, don't use the fire hammer. I guess I should have known that. Truly assured destruction there. It's gonna go straight for the Kajara here. Let me take a look at this here. Can't really take a look at it properly if I can't see it. Yeah, no. I'm still trying to think like, how do I get that uh, that white chest? Well, anyway, uh, that is a worry for a future Coolio. Actually, I don't think I need to be here, right? There's something down here. Yeah. Okay, you just kind of despawned, I guess. Okay, and I'm back here, okay. At the moment, I'm definitely going to focus on getting this guy to his final destination. Where he is going to generate a Static electricity explosion? I still do not see how this hey, is supposed to work. Is it gonna work? Well, just watch and see. I got three of them for you, fam. This is adorable and cruel at the same time. Hmm. 
There was a lot of destruction just now. Wow, that scared me. Same with wind, but... Fam, you do some crazy stuff. We did it! Kids, it's a success! Oh dear. I feel sorry for the Kujaras. No kidding. Oh, don't worry about them. They're pretty tough. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. As promised, I'll let you kids be the first on the gondola. If you want to go to the forest, you can use it any time. You also mentioned something about the evil pigs. Let me give you this. Hey, why do people just have the pig Thank bags you very much, in this? Thanks, fam. And thanks for doing this is solid, fam. Well, anyway. Let's go look at yet another area. He looks so angry with the fursuit on. How are we at so far? 38 and 61. Now we've already found almost half of the events in this game. This is the Donglin Forest. The evil pig magic Dong. has scattered ghosts all over the place. Look, there's a ghost over there. Yep, that's it doesn't a ghost. Like the cold. If you cool it and bite it, it'll disappear. Well, for once, we actually have the tool for that coming in, but, uh, hey, look at this. More fireflies. Uh, let me take off the fursuit so I can jump normally. find any more? I guess not. Put it in, uh, put in the spirit's eye. Down I go. Fortunately, that is not death. That just takes away one point of health. I get the sense that we might find the white key here. There's a lot of white boxes. Oh, gotta swing the other way. Oh god. Yeah. These friggin' ghosts. Oh my goodness. 
Well, that was cool. Okay, we need to find more ghosts for the Ghost Lord. Why does this one bounce? It is severely throwing me off. As you can tell. Oh boy. But what did I hit my head against? Let's try the bird clothes. Well, that sure helped me, didn't it? Yep. I've become invisible, except not really. I can still see my hair and pants. Oh. Because I'm invisible, I can't use my clothes. Which makes no sense, I'm still wearing pants. Okay, I hate this. Okay, let's try the fursuit. Yeah, there's like a wall there. That's obnoxious. This music has a very, um, Tim Burton feel to it, almost. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but if it was, they're doing it. Come bother me. They sure are. Oh, Witch Mizno. That's the witch from the first game. We don't have the blue key yet. Is that what we need? Three of them? We do indeed need three of them. Oh jeez. This looks worse. Let's just escape into this house here. The 
the troubled artist. I'm almost finished painting, but it's missing something. Of course, something blue, but the blue fruit is all gone. More blue for the blue god. And speaking of blue... Actually, come to think of it, we're probably getting the blue key from this guy. seen a couple here. Another pot of life. Oh, Vitality Max. Excellent. We have five health now. I think I've seen... Was there only the one blue fruit? Because I think I've seen like a couple. Maybe it was just the one. Let's, uh, let's go turn this in and see what he thinks. <laughs> Hi. What do you mean? I just brought it. Well, it appears I just blew myself. I think I know what's about to happen. Really? What is it? Just watch. It will be a masterpiece. Wham! Mm, splendid! So dynamic! So intense! It's perfect! Well, art is suffer. Tomba, are you okay? Oh, I'm really sorry. I get so caught up in my painting. Are you hurt? I'm apparently fine. You're very kind. I was able to finish a fine painting. Thank you. Take this for your trouble. Is it a blue key? It is a blue key. A key to the blue treasure chest. Are you sure this is okay? Positive. I'm not interested in treasures. Don't worry about it. Just take it. Hmm. What should I draw next? Yeah, we're, we're only in our first session. Hey there, Mario. We're only in our first session. We found three keys. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need, like, a grapple or something to get some of these. So, but why did you get rid of the grapple from the first game? Okay, now this ain't fair. I'm getting double teamed here. Do I need to hit? Do I need to jump on it? None of those options seem to work. Yeah, 
Hey, I'm not really sure how to deal with this dude. The guard of the wall has a light protecting him, so projectile weapons won't work. When he sticks out his tongue, hit him with something. Oh, do I need to use the hammer then? Try switching to let's try switching to the regular hammer. I feel like the fire hammer is probably not going to be what it's called for here. Except I'm going to need. Oh, there we go. Oh no. You know, it would be great if I didn't have to do this, like, right at the edge of the platform. Also, I've got two hits on you. I'm gonna use a lunchbox. So that I can not die. There we go. Oh good, it moved me to, uh, the platform. Got the Donglin bell. Get to Donglin. Wow, oh. this stone image almost looks alive. I recognize that. Uh... Hmm. Getting some Futurama flashbacks here. Probably. So yes, this game has a return to the laughing and crying states. Also, I guess those uh, those strings kind of start falling. Let's laugh at this door. <laughs> May I offer you a potato in these trying times? I guess not. Yeah. 
How's the potato is supposed to... Or maybe I have to use it like in a... Uh, in a recipe. That is unfortunate if that's the case, but... Uh, yeah, I believe it. deal is with this like little mushroom popping up here. I mean I knew that was going to happen but the fact is I need to be rid of my state. I can get rid of this guy. And now I can cry at this door. If you try to eat fruit with a colored skin, you'll end up laughing or crying. But there are doors in this world that can be opened by laughing or crying. No kidding. That's when the mystery mushroom comes in handy, because it lets you control laughing and crying. All three of those sentences ended with laughing and or crying. What? <laughs> no, unfortunately I don't have one of those. Well, why even tell me about it then? laughing or crying hard to handle? Doesn't it make it hard to move? I know that eating the pink fruit can bring you back to normal. And because the normal fruit never runs out when you're walking, you can always get back to normal. Now there's a normal fruit. <laughs> if I had one, I would give it to you as a present. But I don't have one. You'll have to look for it yourself. Well, but... You know what I have to say about that? Hang on. I'm trying to set this up. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Alright. Let's, let's take a look at our save file here, real quick. 43 events cleared, 69 collected, nice. And uh, yeah, so we have already, on the first session, completed a, over a quarter of the events, and found over half of them, and found three of the four question mark keys? Uh, 35, uh, 350,000 AP. I think we're doing pretty good. But, uh, we're gonna have to see how far we can take this in the next session. So I want to thank y'all for hanging out. Thank you, Zero, Jewel, and Tyrion for hanging out in chat. The next scheduled stream is gonna be on... Uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some Archipelago shenanigans, maybe with version 0.5.0. We'll see if it's out yet. Uh, that takes us around week, round wheel to our next uh, 15th anniversary long run stream where we will continue our run of Tilma 2, the Evil Swine Return. And, um,. Probably at some point, like between now and then, I might just replay like the first two hours and get some of these achievements that didn't unlock because I wasn't connected to retro achievements. If I do that, it's probably going to be on screen. I mean, I have two full days where I'm not going to be able to play Final Fantasy XIV, so yeah. 
That's that's an option. Uh, I may stream some Final Fantasy XIV on Friday if I can even get on the servers, because it's gonna be a busy day. It's gonna be the first pre-release day of Dawn Trail, and uh, maybe I'll share my experiences. Who knows? Depends on how I feel. You can follow me on co-host at coolurmzx, and you can also contribute monetarily if you so desire to do so uh, over Libera Pay or Buy Me a Coffee in the links on, uh, in chat at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.